Hey guys, what's up? So, I've been thinking about this for a while now, and I was trying to reduce my banding or ribbing. Uh, I really don't have very much of it, really, actually, virtually nothing, but I thought I would try to replace these uh, these loose, like, spring-type couplers, the solid rigid couplers, and uh, this is not really so much of an issue with, uh, like, one of those, like, CR-10s, uh, the stock CR-10s where you have a, a manual bed adjustment. It's, I think it's more would help with an issue with, uh, like, the VL touch or auto bed leveling. Because as you can see, as my, my print is printed out here, these things are moving back and forth to compensate for it. See that right there? See they're going back and forth as I'm printing? Well, it's doing that to, to you know, make the bed level. So it's trying to calculate on both sides, you know what I mean? So it's moving back and forth, whereas you probably wouldn't get that on a manually, you know, manually uh, bed there, you know, with the manual twist knobs. So I thought maybe putting this rigid in there would actually help. Um, because you're, when you're printing, when you're printing at, at least I, I'm printing at 0.1 millimeter, or like a tenth of a millimeter. So we're talking, when this prints in, I'll show you this, but this thing is actually like a spring. It goes up and down, I'll show you that. But, I mean, that can create ribbing just back and forth. I mean, just the, the you know, the, the movement, even though I'm trying to support this as much as I can, but just the movement in this gantry, you know, could create an issue. Like, well, you know, that's what, you know, we get the ribbing because the layer heights are, are different, you know, it's moving around too much. I right, get the steppers off here. So let me show you this spring action, what I was telling you about. See right there? I mean, this... <clears throat> what happens is when you're when you're when you're you're getting the vibrations in your in your gantry, this thing can go up and down, affecting the layer height. All right, so I also bought a new set of stepper motors because I'm going to use these older stepper motors for my laser cutter build right there. <clears throat> so got new steppers, but if you're going to be doing this, you're going to want some sort of adjustable, like. Um, adjustable uh, stepper uh, mount there. Like see this right here, I can go, I can go back and forth like that. Because now that it would be rigid, you're not going to have nearly... You, this can actually uh, take up a lot of the slack. You know, being a springler like that, but now that it's going to be rigid, it's... You know, you're going to you're need to have perfect alignment. Alright, have them on there. So that's why you want the adjustable Z there. Um, let's bring this down here. Um, yeah, as you can see, they're not straight on each side, so... The new mounts on there. Uh, bring it down a little bit. I brought them all the way to the, I went all the top to make sure it wouldn't bind. Alright, we'll do a uh, bring it down 40. Alright, so let's print out a calibration cube. Um, this is actually Aqua Screen if you haven't seen it yet. Made a video about it. So I already have a calibration cube on there. Yes. Alright. Alright, so this could probably go either way. So it's either going to improve my print quality or make it worse. So improvement would be because it's not moving around up and down, uh, not moving the, shifting the layer height. But the downside is it's actually taking all this force and moving it. Yeah, you know I mean, so there's no dampening effect. So it's actually transferring the actual movement of this gantry into the actual print. That's so actually going to make the jerk worse. So don't know. I guess we'll find out. That's my other cube right there. Alright, so I hope you can see that. The one on the right is the new one. The one on the left is the old one. And it acts like it looks like it added a little ghosting on the X axis. Um, the one on the left, like I said, is the older one. The one on the right is the newer one with the newer fixed coupler. The surface doesn't seem as good. Let me switch over to the uh, Y. Alright, so that is the Y. Looks like I still have some faint ghosting. I'm just trying to get a light so I can see and that line across too. So I'm going to need some more test printing. So I don't really know if this improved it or made it worse. Kind of looks like it made it worse a little bit. I, I, I'm going to make some more prints on it, but yeah, I'm going to change the whole harmonics of the printer. So the Z looks fine though. All right. All right. So that's one through five. That's the original one, 
and I'd mess around with the jerk settings and I got it to improve a little bit but you know I, I think those were actually a downgrade so the actual the quality of the print got worse with those uh, solid couplers on there so if you saw those on Amazon and you're thinking about it and uh, those are my results so I put back the original ones back on there but uh I guess if you don't try, you don't ever know, so it's part of the fun fun stuff about doing this hobby here, you know, is troubleshooting, so. Alright, cool. Uh, Happy New Year. It's uh, New Year's Eve, 2019. Alright, cool.